Hey guys, welcome to a new Java E tutorial. In today's video, I will show you one of the newest features of Java E7, the JSF Faces Flow. If you have not yet upgraded your environment to Java E7, ensure to check out my previous video on how to prepare for Java E7. Back to topic, JSF Faces Flow is an easy way to implement a wizard-like workflow. It allows you to encapsulate a set of steps that the user needs to pass in order to achieve a certain goal. Let's take a look at some examples. We start with our first app project that we used in every video. There are no classes yet and there is only an empty index xhtml file. To create a new flow we will add a subfolder to the folder web app. The folder name will also be the flow name. For this example we will do a small registration flow to sign up some new user, so I call it registration. Inside the folder we will create a registration minus flow.xml file. This file allows us to configure the flow. We will look at this file soon. All we need for now are the descriptors for the XML file, which are pretty equal to your web in faces minus config XML. Inside here we need a flow definition, which defines the name of our flow, which is registration. Later on we will do much more configurations here, but for now we will create three pages for our flow. Those are the different steps the user will be guided through. We need to take care of the names, so the starting page of the flow needs to be named just as the flow definition ID is. So in this case registration.xhtml and inside here we can now basically create our page with JSF. So I will just copy the will index xhtml content to our registration xml and we will now add some content here. First some style for the layout and then we will advance our panel grid to two columns and the first input value will be the first name. Also we need the input text field to enter the value and here we will now define our registration bean which we will create right after this page. The same we can just copy this and do the same for the last name and now our registration flow is already defined as JSF all we need now is the registration bean. So we will create a new class call it registration bean. This will be a named bean with a flow scoped and the name will be registration. So what we have done here is we defined our registration bean which is now flow scope. So this is a new scope which was introduced with the JSF faces flow and the flow scope will live as long as the registration flow continues. So once the user finished the flow this bean will be destroyed. Inside here we will just define some basic values. We want to save the first name and the last name as well as the postcode and the city which we will use later on. We will now add the getters and setters and also implement the serializable interface. Now we have successfully created the flow but we need a way to enter the flow. So we go to our index xhtml file and add a command button here with some value and the action must be named as your flow name. So in this case registration. Then we save it and add our application to the server. We now open up the browser, call the app and get our start registration button. I will click it and we enter the flow which you can see at the URL which now was added a JSF flow ID and we can now enter names here but that's all we can do for now because we haven't added any more pages. So that's what we will do now. We will copy our registration XML, paste it here, just add registration to at the XHTML file. So this will be the next one we will call. You could also add B here and this one will be will be C. So everything is fine, just need some kind of enumeration. We will now create our second page, which will be just to enter some more data for the registration, such as the postcode or the city. And of course we need to address the new bean values here. So we are now done for the second page, but we need a transition from the first page to the second page. So we will add an H command button here with the value next or whatever value you like. The action needs to be the second page you want to call. So in this case registration B 
or whatever name you give this page and I will add some style for the layout too. In our registration B page we will also need those buttons. Here we will need next button as well but we will also need a back button to access the previous page which in this case is registration and the next page is registration C. Now we only miss out on the last page. On this page we will just output all the informations from our first and second page. So I will just use the complete code from the other pages and change all those values to output labels. So we just get the information but can't change them anymore. Here we will now need a back button and a finish button. So the back button will go to registration B and the finish button will get an action which we will define soon. So I will just let this one empty for now. And now we will try out how the flow looks like. Publish this one again, start the registration, enter some values. You see we are now on the second page, could just go back and still the values would be remembered. And now I will just enter the postcode a city and press next, which currently leads us to an error because the action is empty, which is not allowed here. So we will create our finish action now and that's the first time where we need our registration for configuration XML file. In here we will define our flow return. So the flow return is the action we call to exit our registration and we now need to f define the target page which is the from outcome and here we now say back to the index.xhtml. So once we call a button with the action exit registration, we will be redirected to our index.xhtml file. Also the flow will be closed and the registration bean will be destroyed. We now go to our registration C page and add the action which is now exit registration. We will publish this again and try it out. Start the registration, enter some values and now we are on the last page where we will get all the information again. We can now press next which is our finish and we are back to our registration start page.